Hey guys, the objectives of today's video is to talk about the clay soil structure as well as the interaction between clay particles. The structure of a soil is taken to mean both the geometric arrangement of the particles, which is referred to as a soil fabric, as well as the interparticle forces which may act between them. In granular or cohesionless soils, the interparticle forces are very small, so both the fabric and the structure of Gravels, sands, and to some extent, silts are the same. So if I was to demonstrate this in other words, we have the structure of a soil. Comprising of both the soil fabric and interparticle forces. And in the case of granular soils, we can ignore the interparticle forces. So in fine-grained cohesive soils, the interparticle forces are very large. And thus, both these forces and the soil fab fabric must be considered as the structure of the soil. The single most important factor influencing the final structure of a clay soil is the electrochemical environment existing at the time of the clay sedimentation. Let's now talk about clay particle interaction. There are forces which act between adjacent clay mineral particles, these being forces of repulsion and attraction. An example of a repulsion, repulsion force experienced by clay particles is electrostatic forces. And these occur between the like charges of clay particles. An example of an attraction force is hydrogen bonding. And also van der Waals forces. The faces of clay particles have negative charges. And as a result, the edges of clay particles may have a positive charge to preserve electrical neutrality. I'll just demonstrate this quickly in a picture. So this is, say this is our clay particle. The faces here have negative charges. And as a result, the edges have positive charges. The net interparticle forces influence the structural form of clay mineral particles. If there is a net repulsion force, the particles tend to assume a face-to-face -face orientation, and this is known as a dispersed structure. So this is what a dispersed structure would look like in a diagram, for example. Just something like that. If there is a net attraction force in the clay, the particles will tend to have an edge-to-edge -edge orientation, and this is known as a flocculated structure. So in a diagram, a flocculated structure would look something like this. Something like that. Now note that all natural clay soils are flocculated to some extent, and only in very dilute solutions is the dispersion of clay particles possible. So just a final word now on the compressibility of flocculated and dispersed structures. So let's say we have a flocculated structure here. If I was to plot a load versus volume curve. In a flocculated structure, the structure will be able to withstand a load initially, before eventually breaking and b becoming dispersed, and also experiencing a reduction in volume. Now in a dispersed structure,
the volume experiences a gradual reduction under a load. That's it for today's video. Hope this helps guys.